New conversation. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Michael. How are you? I'm fine like that, thanks. All right, and you? I'm fine too, thanks for asking. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. I went for a walk with some friends. This sounds fun. I got some relief at home. Sometimes a relaxing weekend is best. Definitely. Hey, do you have the notes from yesterday's lecture? Yes, I do. I can send these to you later. Thanks, this will be very helpful. No problem. Are you ready for the test on Friday? Not really, I need to work harder. If you want, we can study together. It would be great. Shall we meet at the library tomorrow? Sure. What time does it work for you? How about three in the afternoon? Perfect. See you then. Thanks, Mary. You are a lifesaver. You're welcome, Michael. We are in this together. New conversation. Hello, Mary. How are you? I am good, thanks. How are you? I am also good, thank you. What exercises are you planning to do today? I'm thinking of doing some cardio today. You? I'm thinking of doing weight training too. Great. Maybe we can do cardio together later. Of course with pleasure. What weight training are you doing? Today I will do back and shoulder exercises. Good choice. I'm thinking of focusing on my legs too. How much weight do you use? I currently use 10 pound dumbbells. I use the same weight. You found a good balance. Thank you. I have improved myself over time since I started this business. That's it. You have to keep going and keep going. Definitely. So which cardio workout do you prefer? I usually prefer to run on the treadmill. Sometimes I also like to ride a bike. Cycling is a great cardio workout. Yes, it is both fun and effective. When are you starting? I can start now, is it okay for you? Sure, let's get started. Great, so let's get started. New conversation. Hello my name is Michael. I just arrived and I'm so excited. Hi Michael, my name is Mary. Have you just moved here? Yes Mary, my family and I moved to the city a few weeks ago. Change is always exciting. I hope you have a good time here. Thank you Mary. I hope to make new friends. I can definitely be your friend. I can also introduce you to our classmate. Really? It helps a lot. Of course, everyone helps each other in this lesson. What is your favorite lesson? I actually love math. What is it about you? My favorite subject is science. I love learning new things about nature. I also like science. Maybe we can work together. Of course why not? Thus, we can be successful in both science and mathematics lessons together. Great plan Mary, thank you very much. You're welcome, Michael. We love helping each other so let me know if you need help. That's a very nice gesture, Mary. I am very happy that we are friends. I'm happy to be friends with you too, Michael. See you tomorrow at school. Yes, see you at school tomorrow. New conversation. Hello Mary. How are you today? Hi Michael. I am good thanks. All right and you? I am also good. Have you been busy lately? Yes, I'm pretty busy at work. And you? I've had many meetings too. What do you do for work? I am a manager in a small company. All right and you? I'm also a manager, but at a larger company. This sounds compelling. What is your favorite part of your job? I enjoy solving problems and working with my team. All right, and you? 
I love helping my team grow and achieve their goals. That's great to hear. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Not really, I'm just resting at home. All right, and you? I will visit my family. We have a little meeting. That sounds good. Family time is important. Yes, like that. It was nice to catch up, Mary. You too, Michael. Have a great weekend. New talk. Have you ever wondered about the life of Albert Einstein, Mary? Definitely Michael. He had a very bright mind. Did you know that he was born in Ulm, Germany in 1879? Yes I did. And he was known for his groundbreaking theories in physics. Right. The theory of relativity revolutionized our understanding of space and time. And he won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921 for his explanation of the photoelectric effect. This is true. He was truly a pioneer in his field. But he wasn't just a scientist he was also an advocate of civil rights and peace. Actually, he spoke out against racism and supported the civil rights movement. And he was a pacifist, actively campaigning for disarmament. It's fascinating how he uses his influence to bring about positive change. Definitely. He believed that knowledge could change the world. And he had a remarkable ability to explain complex ideas in simple terms. That's why it inspires many people. Did you know that he also has a great sense of humor? I heard him. There was a fun side to it. Imagination is more important than knowledge, he once said. This is a very strong statement. He emphasized the importance of creativity and thinking outside the box. And he was not afraid to challenge established beliefs. Definitely. He was a true intellectual maverick. It's incredible how it reshapes our understanding of the universe. And his contributions continue to influence science to this day. Definitely. His legacy is timeless. I often wonder what he thinks about the current state of science and the world. He'd probably be both surprised and worried. I agree. He was deeply invested in the well-being of humanity. And his humane values continue to inspire us. It's a reminder that we all have a role to play in making the world a better place. Actually, we can all strive for excellence in our own fields. And don't forget the importance of empathy and compassion. The life and work of Albert Einstein is a powerful reminder of this. Definitely. He was a true intellectual in every sense of the word. His contributions to science and humanity will never be forgotten. That's for sure. He left an indelible mark on the world. And his legacy continues to inspire future generations. New Conversation Good morning Mary. How are you today? I'm fine Michael. Thanks for asking. All right and you? I am also good. Did you have a chance to review the project proposal? Yes I did. It looks promising but there are some concerns. I understand. What specific concerns do you have? First of all, the timeline seems a bit cramped. Can we extend it for a week? This is a valid point. I'll check with my team to see if that's possible. Thanks a lot. I also noticed that some details were missing from the budget. Could you please indicate what is missing so we can fix the problem? We also need to include software licenses and training costs. I understand I will have them added. Another thing? Yes, I think we should involve the QA team earlier in the process. This is a good suggestion. I will talk to them about this. Thanks Michael. 
The key to a successful project is collaboration. Definitely Mary. Teamwork makes dreams come true. So when do you want to schedule the kickoff meeting? Let's aim for next Monday. Is this suitable for you? Monday is perfect. I will send the invitations. Thanks Mary. I appreciate your input. It's okay, Michael. We are in this together. That's the spirit. Let's make this project a success. I accept Michael. Have a nice day. You too, Mary. Be careful. Bye. New conversation. Hey Mary, when do you want to go to the movies? Hmm, maybe we'll go tonight. Which movie would you like to watch? I'm thinking of watching a comedy or a romantic movie. What are you thinking? I love both, you choose. Okay, let's watch a romantic movie then. Great, which session do you prefer? Do you think a session at 20 in the morning would be good? Okay, let's go to the 8 a.m. session. I'll get the tickets. Thank you Michael. Shall we get some popcorn and soda? Of course not without popcorn and soda at the cinema. When are we supposed to be there? The movie will start at 8 a.m., so we need to be there at least 20 minutes before. I understand let's make a plan for the evening. I don't like to wait so it's better to go early. You are right. I've been waiting to see this movie for a long time. Me too. Looks like it'll be fun tonight. Yes, does it get hot for you? Definitely. I can't wait to spend time with a good movie and a great friend. That's right Michael. Thank you for inviting me tonight. You're welcome, Mary. Good thing we are friends. New conversation. Hello Miriam. How are you today? Hi Michael. I'm fine, thanks. All right, and you? I am also good. I need to buy a few things from the market. Sure. What's on your shopping list? I need some bread, milk, eggs and a bag of rice. It looks like a typical shopping list. I also need vegetables and fruit. Great, we can catch these together. Do you know where the vegetables are? Yes, they're in the fresh produce section at the back of the store. Perfect. Let's go there first. It looks like a plan. After that we can pick up the fruit and check it out. Okay, let's go. New conversation. Hello Mary. How are you feeling? Hi Michael. To be honest, I'm a little nervous. Don't worry, Mary. Doctors here are very good. What does the problem look like? I've had a headache for the past two days and it's getting worse and worse. That doesn't sound very good. Haven't you seen a doctor yet? Yes, this morning doctor I saw Smith. He said I might need some tests. Anyway, I hope it's nothing serious. Is there anything I can do to help? Thank you Michael. Just having you here is comforting. You're welcome, Mary. We are friends and friends support each other. New conversation. Hello John. I've finally started college. Really? Great. Which section are you studying? I am studying business management. I am very excited. Congratulations. Business is a great choice. How are the lessons going? So far everything is fine. The lessons of the first semester were quite easy. Nice to hear. What courses are you taking? In the first semester. I take introductory courses in computational mathematics, microeconomics and business. Do you enjoy business classes? Yes, business classes are one of my favorites. The marketing course is very interesting. I also studied business and marketing was my favorite. What other courses will you take? 
In the second semester, I will choose courses such as finance, management, business ethics. Sound is great. You seem to like college life. Yes, it is really like that. I also made new friends and exploring the campus is fun too. Great. Enjoy your college experience and good luck. Thank you, John. Also, how are you? I'm still working, but I'm thinking of doing a master's degree in the future. Getting a master's degree can be a great idea. What are you doing? I'm thinking of doing a master's degree in education. New conversation. Hello, Mary. Is this seat taken? No, it's free. You can sit here. Thanks. I just missed the previous bus. This is very unfortunate. Yes, I had to run to catch this. I hope you didn't miss anything important. It's just a meeting but it can be rescheduled. Then that's fine. How is your day going by the way? It was intense but nothing out of the ordinary. I understand. Do you take this bus every day? Yes, I commute to work on this. This is convenient. I use it occasionally. Cost effective for me. I should consider taking it more often. You are your property. It's also better for the environment. You are right. I will think about it. Do you have any plans for the evening? Not really, just some errands to get done. Likewise, I need to do grocery shopping. Maybe we should share the car sometime. This is a good idea. It saves money and reduces emissions. I'm glad you think so. Have you watched a good TV show lately? I started a new series on Netflix. Pretty interesting. What is this about? A crime drama set in New York. Sounds interesting. I can check. Let me know if you have and we can discuss. I will do this. Do you have any hobbies? In my spare time I enjoy painting and reading books. This is great. I used to play the guitar, but lately I can't find time. You should get it again if you can. I miss. I'll think about it. Here is my stop. It was nice to chat with you. Same here, Mary. Have a nice day. You too, Michael. Be careful. Bye. Bye. New talk. Hey, Mary. Have you ever wondered about diversity in the USA? Definitely, Michael. The United States is incredibly diverse in its people. Yes, it is a place where cultures and backgrounds come together. This is true, and this is reflected in the food. You're right, you can find cuisines from all over the world here. And the landscapes are very diverse. From beaches to mountains, everything is here. Don't forget the national parks. They are breathtaking. Speaking of nature, have you been to the Grand Canyon? Yes, one of the most awe-inspiring places I've ever visited. And the music scene, from jazz in New Orleans to country in Nashville. The USA gave birth to many musical genres. And of course Hollywood. This is the capital of entertainment. Movies and TV shows have a global impact. What about the political landscape, Michael? It has become quite polarized in recent years. And elections are always closely watched around the world. The role of the United States in global politics is important. That's right, one of the world's superpowers. But it faces challenges such as climate change and inequality. These are critical issues that need attention. Health is also a matter of debate. Access to health care is a concern for many people. The education system varies by state, right? Yes, there are differences in terms of curriculum and funding. 
However, some universities are known worldwide. Harvard, MIT, Stanford to name a few. What about sports? The USA excels in many sports such as basketball and baseball. And American football has a huge following. Let's not forget the Olympics. The USA is often at the top of the medal standings. What about technological advances? Silicon Valley is at the forefront of innovation. Companies like Apple and Google are world giants. The history of the USA is also fascinating. From the founding fathers to the civil rights movements. And Native American history is often overlooked. It is important to acknowledge their contributions. How's the economy, Mary? It is one of the largest economies in the world. But income inequality is worrying. That's right, this is an ongoing problem. U.S. foreign policy is effective. It plays a role in shaping global relations. And immigration is a pressing issue. It is a complex problem with no easy solution. Let's not forget cultural exports. Movies, music and fashion influence the world. The American dream is still alive for many. It is a symbol of hope and opportunity. What do you think about the health system? In my opinion, it is an issue that needs reform. What about the recent health debates? They show the need for change. The pandemic has highlighted health inequalities. Access to vaccines was a global concern. The United States also played an important role in the development of the vaccine. The scientific community has done an incredible job. Let's change gears. What is your favorite U.S. city? I love New York City, its energy is unique. I'm a San Francisco fan, the Golden Gate Bridge is iconic. Have you been to Washington, D.C.? Yes, the history and monuments are impressive. What's on your USA travel list? I would love to explore national parks more. Yellowstone and Yosemite are also on my list. How about a road trip on Route 66? This looks like a classic American adventure. Speaking of adventure, the USA has different climates. You can experience the four seasons here. And festivals from Mardi Gras to Coachella. They offer the taste of different cultures. The U.S. space program is remarkable. NASA's achievements are inspiring. Have you tried American barbecue? Yes, Southern barbecue is a must try. Southern hospitality is something special. The U.S. legal system is complex, isn't it? It varies from state to state, which can be confusing. However, it guarantees individual rights and freedoms. The historical landmarks of the USA are impressive. From the Statue of Liberty to Mount Rushmore. And museums like the Smithsonian. They are a wealth of information. So how is the concept of federalism? This is a unique aspect of the US government. The Bill of Rights is the cornerstone of democracy. It protects fundamental freedoms. The U.S. role in space exploration is fascinating. They made significant contributions to space science. What about the space race with the Soviet Union? It was a defining moment in history. How do you evaluate the gun control debate in the USA? It is a complex problem with no easy solution. What about climate change policy? The U.S. has made commitments, but there is work to be done. Let's not forget the technology giants. They shape our digital world. And the startup culture in places like Silicon Valley.
It encourages innovation and entrepreneurship. The infrastructure of the United States is diverse. From crowded cities to rural areas. And the transportation options are diverse. Road trips, trains, and domestic flights are common. What do you think about the U.S. role in global conflicts? This is a complex issue and diplomacy is very important. The United States has participated in many peacekeeping missions. As a superpower, this is a responsibility. The cultural diversity here is enriching. It creates a vibrant society. What about 4th of July celebrations? This is a patriotic show. What is the influence of the United States on popular culture? Hollywood and music set global trends. The U.S. higher education system is prestigious. Many international students come here to study. The USA has a long history of immigration. A nation of immigrants who shape its identity. But what about iconic America icons? From the White House to the Golden Gate Bridge. Let's not forget the U.S. Constitution. It is the foundation of American democracy. What do you think about the Electoral College? A unique system for electing the president. What about the Supreme Court's role? It interprets and protects the Constitution. U.S. space missions are of historical importance. The moon landing was a tremendous success. What about religious diversity in the United States? This is a testament to religious freedom. How do you see the U.S. healthcare system? Improvements are needed to ensure access for everyone. What about debates between public and private health care? They emphasize the need for reform. The contributions of the USA to science are remarkable. Many groundbreaking discoveries emerged here. What about the pressure towards renewable energy? It is very important in terms of combating climate change. The role of the United States in international organizations? It plays an important role in global governance. The Statue of Liberty is a symbol of hope. It welcomes those who are looking for a better life. What about U.S. relations with neighboring countries? They are important for regional stability. What is your perspective on the U.S.'s stance on human rights? This is a complex issue that is open to improvement. The U.S. approach to immigration is being discussed. Balancing safety and compassion is a challenge. The U.S.'s influence on technology is huge. It is the center of innovation and development. What about the legacy of effective leaders? Lincoln Dean Martin Luther King Jr. is shaped in history. The U.S.'s role in global health initiatives? It has the resources to make a significant impact. What about the emphasis on individualism in American culture? This is a defining aspect of the American spirit. U.S. relationship with the United Nations? It plays an important role in international diplomacy. U.S. efforts on global education? It is necessary to promote global understanding. What about the importance of free speech in the United States? It is the cornerstone of democracy and expression. U.S. involvement in international conflicts? This is a complex issue with different perspectives. What is your view on U.S. foreign aid programs? They demonstrate a commitment to global prosperity. U.S. stance on climate change? It is crucial to global environmental sustainability. U.S. contributions to space exploration? They pushed the boundaries of human knowledge.
What about the tech industry's impact on society? The way we live and communicate has changed. The U.S.'s role in global security? As a major world power, this is a responsibility. What is your perspective on U.S. cultural exports? They shape popular culture around the world. What about the influence of American fashion? It sets trends and styles globally. The United States' commitment to international development? This reflects the commitment to global progress. What about the influence of American literature? It has influenced writers and readers all over the world. The U.S. approach to criminal justice? This is an issue that requires constant reform. What about the importance of the civil rights movement? A pivotal moment in the fight for equality. U.S. humanitarian efforts? They make a difference in times of crisis. The role of art in American culture? It reflects the diversity and creativity of the nation. What about the importance of civic engagement? It is the cornerstone of a healthy democracy. U.S. contributions to medical research? They led to groundbreaking discoveries. What about the importance of American holidays? They celebrate history, culture and community. The role of the USA in global economic policies? An important player in shaping the world economy. U.S. international diplomacy efforts? They play a vital role in maintaining peace and stability. The impact of American literature on the world? It has shaped the literary landscape globally. What about the impact of American inventions? They have revolutionized various industries. U.S. contributions to environmental protection? They set an example of sustainable practices. The importance of America's landmarks? These are a testament to the history of the nation. What about the role of American music in global culture? It is a universal language that transcends borders. U.S. disaster relief efforts? They provide crucial assistance in times of crisis. The impact of American technology on daily life? The way we live, work and communicate has changed. U.S. contributions to space exploration? They expanded our understanding of the universe. What about the role of American cuisine in global food culture? It has influenced tastes around the world. U.S. stance on international human rights? This is an ongoing commitment to a just world. The importance of American sport in global culture? They are a source of entertainment and unity. The U.S.'s role in promoting global education? This is very important for a more conscious world. What about the importance of preserving cultural heritage? This is a testament to the richness of human history. U.S. contribution to medical developments? They have saved countless lives around the world. The impact of American cinema on global entertainment? It is a powerful storytelling tool around the world. U.S. international peacekeeping efforts? They contribute to global stability and security. American architecture's role in shaping cities? It left a lasting mark on urban landscapes. What about the importance of American pop culture icons? These are symbols of creativity and influence. The U.S.'s influence on international fashion trends? It is a reflection of style and creativity. The United States' commitment to global public health? This is a very important part of worldwide prosperity. How do you evaluate the USA's approach to international trade? It is an important driver of the global economy. 
What about the importance of protecting natural areas? It is vital for the health of our planet. U.S. contributions to technological innovation? They have revolutionized industries around the world. The impact of American television on global culture? It is a powerful tool for storytelling and information. The role of the U.S. in shaping international politics? It affects a wide range of global issues. The importance of American folklore and legends? They are part of the cultural fabric of the nation. U.S. efforts to promote human dignity around the world? This is a testament to the commitment to justice. How do you see the U.S. role in global innovation? It has been the driving force of technological progress. What about the importance of cross-cultural exchange? It improves understanding and mutual respect. U.S. contributions to global cultural heritage? They are part of the common history of the world. The influence of American philosophy on global thought? It has influenced intellectual discourse around the world. U.S. efforts to promote gender equality? This is a step towards a more inclusive world. How do you see the influence of the United States on international law? It plays an important role in shaping legal frameworks. What about the importance of American social movements? They have been catalysts for change worldwide. The U.S. role in finding solutions to global health problems? A vital part of global prosperity. The importance of American cultural diplomacy? It promotes mutual understanding and cooperation. How do you evaluate the influence of the USA on the global media? It is a powerful force in shaping public discourse. What about the importance of American folklore and traditions? These are a reflection of the country's rich history. U.S. efforts to improve international security? They contribute to a more stable world. The influence of American literature on global thought? It is an enriched intellectual discourse around the world. U.S. contributions to global scientific research? They advanced human knowledge in many areas. The impact of American technology on developing countries? It played a role in global development. The U.S. role in promoting global access to education? This is very important for a more conscious world. How do you evaluate the U.S. approach to global governance? An important player in shaping international politics. But the importance of preserving indigenous cultures? It is crucial for cultural diversity and understanding. U.S. efforts to promote freedom of the press? It is an important part of a functioning democracy. The significance of America's contributions to the arts? They have enriched global creative expression. U.S. influence on the international fashion industry? It sets trends and styles globally. The importance of American leadership in global crises? It is necessary for coordinated responses. How do you evaluate the role of the United States in maintaining global peace? It is a vital part of maintaining global stability. What about the significance of America's contributions to global health? It has had a positive impact on prosperity around the world. U.S. efforts to promote environmental sustainability? It sets an example of responsible management. The impact of American music on global culture? It is a universal language that transcends borders. U.S. contributions to international cultural exchange? They develop understanding and appreciation. The role of American philanthropy in global development? 
it has made significant contributions to positive change. How do you evaluate the impact of the United States on global education? It played a role in expanding access to information. What about the importance of preserving historical sites? They are a link to our common human heritage. U.S. efforts to promote international cooperation? This is crucial to meeting global challenges. The significance of America's contributions to space exploration? They expanded our understanding of the universe. The impact of American values on global discourse? They shaped conversations about human rights and democracy. U.S. contributions to global disaster relief efforts? They provide crucial assistance in times of crisis. The role of American leadership in solving global inequalities? This is essential for a more fair and egalitarian world. How do you assess the impact of the USA on global innovation? It has been the driving force of technological progress. What about the importance of cross-cultural exchange? It improves understanding and mutual respect. U.S. contributions to global cultural heritage? They are part of the common history of the world. The influence of American philosophy on global thought? It has influenced intellectual discourse around the world. U.S. efforts to promote gender equality? This is a step towards a more inclusive world. How do you see the influence of the United States on international law? It plays an important role in shaping legal frameworks. What about the importance of American social movements? They have been catalysts for change worldwide. The U.S. role in finding solutions to global health problems? A vital part of global prosperity. The importance of American cultural diplomacy? It promotes mutual understanding and cooperation. How do you evaluate the influence of the USA on the global media? It is a powerful force in shaping public discourse. What about the importance of American folklore and traditions? These are a reflection of the country's rich history. U.S. efforts to improve international security? They contribute to a more stable world. The influence of American literature on global thought? It is an enriched intellectual discourse around the world. U.S. contributions to global scientific research? They advanced human knowledge in many areas. The impact of American technology on developing countries? It played a role in global development. The U.S. role in promoting global access to education? This is very important for a more conscious world. How do you evaluate the U.S. approach to global governance? An important player in shaping international politics. But the importance of preserving indigenous cultures? It is crucial for cultural diversity and understanding. U.S. efforts to promote freedom of the press? It is an important part of a functioning democracy. The significance of America's contributions to the arts? They have enriched global creative expression. U.S. influence on the international fashion industry? It sets trends and styles globally. The importance of American leadership in global crises? It is necessary for coordinated responses. How do you evaluate the role of the United States in maintaining global peace? It is a vital part of maintaining global stability. What about the significance of America's contributions to global health? It has had a positive impact on prosperity around the world. U.S. efforts to promote environmental sustainability? 
It sets an example of responsible management. The impact of American music on global culture? It is a universal language that transcends borders. U.S. contributions to international cultural exchange? They develop understanding and appreciation. The role of American philanthropy in global development? It has made significant contributions to positive change. How do you evaluate the impact of the United States on global education? It played a role in expanding access to information. What about the importance of preserving historical sites? They are a link to our common human heritage. U.S. efforts to promote international cooperation? This is crucial to meeting global challenges. The significance of America's contributions to space exploration? They expanded our understanding of the universe. The impact of American values on global discourse? They shaped conversations about human rights and democracy. U.S. contributions to global disaster relief efforts? They provide crucial assistance in times of crisis. The role of American leadership in solving global inequalities? This is essential for a more fair and egalitarian world. New talk. Have you heard of Mr. Monster, Mary? Yes, isn't he the YouTuber known for his crazy moves? He is certainly famous for his philanthropy as well. I've seen videos of him donating thousands of dollars to strangers. He has a heart of gold and is always trying to make a positive impact. It's impressive how he uses his platform for good. He has a huge following, millions of subscribers. This gives him a lot of influence. He put this to good use by promoting positivity and philanthropy. I heard you once planted a million trees. Yes, this was part of his campaign to combat climate change. This is a great contribution to the environment. He's not just giving money, he's interested in making a difference. That's right, he is like a force for good in the world. And he's always finding creative ways to help others. I saw a video of him opening a free store for homeless people. Providing basic needs to those in need is an incredible thing. It's inspiring to see someone use their success to benefit others. Definitely a role model for many. I wonder what drives him to do all this. It seems like he really cares about making the world better. I read that he had a difficult upbringing, so maybe that's a factor. It is possible for adversity to shape a person's values. It's amazing how he turns this into something positive. He is proof that you can overcome challenges and make a difference. I hope his influence will inspire others to do good, too. This would be a wonderful ripple effect. Imagine more people using their platforms for positive change. The world would be a much better place. Mr. Monster is definitely leaving his mark on the world. And this is a sign of kindness and generosity. We need more people like him. I agree, she is a beacon of hope and compassion. I'm glad there are people like Mr. Monster in the world. It reminds us of the power we all have to do good. It is definitely a reminder that we should always strive for positive change. New conversation. Good morning Mary. How was your flight? Hello Michael. The flight was smooth, thank you. What about yours? It was great. There is no delay. Did you have trouble finding your luggage? No, everything went well. What about you? Do you have checked baggage? This time it's just a carry. It makes things easier. Are you going to stay in London for a long time? 
I will be here for a week. Business meetings and a small trip. All right, and you? I have a short layover before my connecting flight. Where do you live? I booked a hotel in the city center. What about you? I'll be at the airport hotel tonight. Maybe we can catch up for dinner sometime this week? Sounds great, Michael. Let's share our numbers so we can plan something. Sure. Here's my card. Let's not cool off. Have a great trip. You too, Michael. Safe travel. New conversation. Hi, Mary. How are things going at work? Not bad, Michael. We've been pretty busy lately. All right, and you? I drowned too. But tonight let's relax and enjoy our drinks. Looks like a plan, Michael. What are you drinking? Let me have a beer, please. What about you? I'm going for a glass of red wine. Cheers, Mary. Here is a relaxing evening. Cheers, Michael. So, have you taken any trips recently? Not really, Mary. The job got me hooked. I know this feeling. We should be planning a getaway soon. This sounds like a great idea. Any other suggestions? How about spending the weekend at the beach? Perfect. I love the sound of this. So what are the latest gossip in the office? You know how it is, Mary. Same old, same old. I heard there might be some changes in management. Yes, there is talk, but nothing concrete yet. We hope this does not affect us negatively. Acceptance. We've been a good team for years. Speaking of which, do you remember the project we did together last year? Of course, Mary. It was one of our best collaborations. We should do something like this again. Definitely. Let's discuss this in more detail next week. Okay, Michael. I'm looking forward to this. I am also Mary. But for now, let's enjoy our drinks and forget about work. You are absolutely right, Michael. Cheers. New conversation. Hi, Mary. How was your day? It was fine, thanks. I had a few lessons today. Michael, do you have any plans for the weekend? Not really, maybe I'll study and hang out with my friends. All right, and you? Mary, can you help me with this math problem? Of course, I'd be happy to help. What problem are you stuck on? Michael, haven't you decided on your major yet? Not yet, I'm still exploring different options. All right, and you? What is your industry? Mary, would you like to have lunch together after class? Sounds great, Michael. I'm hungry. Let's go to the campus cafe. New conversation. Hello, Mary. How are you today? I'm fine like that, thanks. All right, and you? I am also good. Are you ready for the meeting? Yes, I prepared the presentation. Great. Let's start then. First, let's review the project objectives. Sure, go ahead. Our main goal is to improve the user experience. This is important. How can we do this? We can simplify the user interface. Good idea. What else? We should also fix bug issues. Acceptance. Anything else on the agenda? Yes, we need to discuss the timeline. Let's set exact dates. How about completing it by next month? Sounds reasonable. Let's aim for that. We also need to allocate resources. True, we will need more developers. I will start recruiting new team members. Thanks, Mary. You are always very proactive. Teamwork is very important for success. We definitely make a great team. Shall we talk about the budget now? Yes, let's allocate resources to this project. 
I will prepare a detailed budget proposal. Make sure it's affordable. I will keep it in mind. Have you thought about the technical aspects? Yes, we need to upgrade our servers. Let's get IT involved. I will contact them after the meeting. Thanks Mary. Do you have anything else in mind? We should also prioritize features. Which are the most critical? User registration and data security. These are actually very important. Is there anything you want to add? Let's focus on a mobile-friendly design. I get it. We'll make it sensitive. How about marketing the product? We can discuss this later. Good point. Let's stick to the plan. I will create a project timeline. Add milestones and tasks. It will help us stay organized. What is our estimated budget? I will calculate according to our plan. Keep it within a reasonable range. Of course, we don't want to spend too much. What about our competitors? We need to analyze their strategy. I'll assign someone to do this. Excellent. That will give us the idea. Let's make a checklist for the team. I will create one and share it. Communication is important here. I'll make sure everyone stays up to date. This is crucial to the success of the project. Then we are on the same page. Let's also consider the risks. I will identify potential difficulties. We must have a backup plan. I agree, we will be well prepared. Time management is essential. I will highlight this to the team. How is customer feedback? We must collect regularly. It helps us make improvements. Our goal is customer satisfaction. Also, let's have regular meetings. Weekly updates sound good? Yes, that's a good frequency. I will program them accordingly. Any other concerns, Mary? We must ensure data privacy. Let's definitely prioritize. Compliance is a must. We will follow all the rules. Our legal team can help with this. Let's include them right away. I will inform them after the meeting. Thanks for taking care of it. It's all part of the job. You are doing a great job. Thank you Michael. Team effort. Teamwork makes dreams come true. We will make this project a success. Together we can achieve anything. Let's get our A game, Michael. I am fully present, Mary. Let's do this. That's the spirit. Let's work. It's time to turn our plans into reality. I will send the meeting minutes. Great, it will help everyone stay on track. Anything else before I finish? No, I think we've told them all. Okay, let's postpone the meeting then. Thanks for your dedication, Mary. And thank you Michael. Have a nice day. New conversation. Hello. My name is Michael. What is your name? Hi Michael. My name is Mary. Is this your first time to school? Yes, my first time here. I am very excited. I was very excited at first too, but then I got used to it. What grade are you in? I'm in second grade. What grade are you in? I'm in second grade too. How nice. We are classmates. Really? This is good news. Do you have lunch at school? Yes, my mom told me to have lunch at school. I also eat at school. Food is usually delicious. I also like to eat. What is your favorite food? I love pasta. What about you? I also like pasta, but I like chicken the most. Chicken dish is also very good. Which subject do you like most? I like the painting class the most because it is very colorful and fun. 
What is your favorite lesson? I also like painting class. But I like Turkish lesson the most. Turkish lesson is also very good. I especially love to listen to fairy tales. I also like to listen to fairy tales. What is your favorite fairy tale? My favorite fairy tale is Little Red Riding Hood. So what's your favorite fairy tale? My favorite fairy tale is Ali Baba and the Forty Thieves. It's a very exciting story. Yes, I love this story too. What do you like to do in the schoolyard? I like playing ball the most all right in you. I also like to play ball. But I like jump rope game the most. I've never tried skipping rope. Then one day I can teach you to jump rope. Really? It would be great. I'm sure it will be a lot of fun. So what do you do after school? I usually do my homework at home and then play a little. I mostly do the same. Maybe we can do the homework together? This is a good idea. Then I'll see you at school tomorrow, Mary. New conversation. Oh, hello Mary. How have you been? Hello Michael. I am good thanks. All right and you? I've been busy with work lately. I can guess. What are you shopping for today? Just some food. I need milk and bread. Same way. I also need eggs and vegetables. Let's buy a car and shop together. Great idea Michael. Do you prefer white bread or whole wheat bread? I like whole wheat. Healthier. You are right. I'll take whole wheat, too. Do you need any fruit? Yes, some apples and bananas please. I'll have oranges and grapes. How about some snacks? Maybe a bag of chips for movie night. Sounds fun. Let's get some chips. Don't forget the salsa sauce. Got it, Mary. Salsa sauce is a must. Michael, have you tried this new cereal brand? No, is it okay? Yes, it is delicious and healthy. Then I'll give it a try. What about drinks, Michael? I'll have some orange juice and water. I need some iced tea and lemonade. Let's not forget the coffee. Oh right, I can't start the day without it. Neither can I, Mary. Michael, do you need anything from the frozen section? Maybe some frozen pizza for a quick dinner. Good choice. I'll have some ice cream for dessert. Perfect. Ice cream is my weakness. Me too, Michael. Mary, let's go to the vault now. I admit, we have everything we need. It was nice shopping together, Mary. Yes it was, Michael. We should do this more often. Definitely Mary. Be careful. You too Michael. Bye. New conversation. Hello. How are you today? Hello. I'm fine thanks. How are you? I am also good thank you. I went to the school today. Really? What grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade. We had math class today. Do you like math class? Yes, I love math. But our teacher is a little difficult. I understand I also started going to high school. I am in 10th grade. What courses are you taking? I take lessons in English, history, biology and music. Music lesson should be interesting. What instrument do you play? I play guitar. Do you play any instrument? Sorry, I can't play. But I love art classes. I also like art classes. I love painting. What kind of paintings do you do? I usually draw nature landscapes and portraits. Great. Maybe one day you can show me a picture of you. Sure, I'll gladly show you. Now we'll have to get back to our lessons. You're right. Let's continue our lessons. 
Have a nice day. Good day and good luck. New conversation. Hello Miriam. How is it going? Hi Michael. I'm fine. Thanks. All right and you? Not bad. Thanks. I've been busy with work lately. Yes, I know what you mean. Work can be really hectic. Definitely. Anyway, I came to the library to do research for a project. Wow interesting. What is your project about? It is about renewable energy sources and their effects on the environment. This seems important. Do you find the information you need? Yes. I found some useful books and articles. All right and you? What brings you to the library today? I came to pick up a book I reserved. It was a novel I wanted to read for a long time. It's good, it's always good to read books in your spare time too. What's the name of the book? It's called, Silent Garden. This is a mystery novel. Sounds interesting. Let me know how you like it when you're done. We'll make. So how is your family? They're doing well, thank you. Mom and Dad celebrated their anniversary last week. This is so cute. Please pass on my congratulations to them. I will, thanks. What about your family? Great, thanks for asking. My sister just had a baby, so we're all excited about it. We congratulate him. Being an aunt must be exciting. It certainly is. Anyway, I have to go and get my book. It was nice to catch up, Michael. You too, Mary. Enjoy your book and let's meet sometime for coffee. It looks like a plan. Be careful. You too, Mary. Bye. New conversation. Good morning, Mary. How are you today? Good morning, Michael. I am good, thanks. All right, and you? I'm great, thank you. Did you have a chance to review the project proposal? Yes, I did. It looks good overall, but there are a few points I'd like to discuss. Sure. Let's skip them. What concerns do you have? First of all, the timeline seems a bit cramped. Can we extend the deadline for a week? This is a valid point. I'll talk to the team and see if we can make adjustments. Great. Secondly, I noticed some inconsistencies in the budget section. Can you specify which parts need clarification? Sure. On page 3, under hardware costs. The numbers don't match. I see this now. Thanks for catching this. I will fix it right away. You're welcome finally. Do we have a backup plan in case of technical problems? Yes we do. We have a contingency plan for such situations. Great. This is reassuring. How is the team's progress on coding tasks? They are making good progress and we are well on our way to reaching our milestones. Good to hear. Let's be careful to keep communication between teams open. Acceptance. Communication is key to the success of this project. By the way, have we scheduled the client meeting for next week? Yes, it's set to 10 o'clock on Tuesday. I will send the invitations today. Perfect. Until then, I will prepare the presentation materials. Thanks Mary. You are doing a great job managing this project. Thank you Michael. It's a team effort and I appreciate your support. Teamwork is absolutely essential for our success. Anything else to discuss? Not now. Let's continue to monitor our progress and resolve issues promptly. Acceptance. Thanks Mary for the fruitful discussion. Thank you too Michael. Have a nice day. You too, Mary. Goodbye for now. New talk. What a beautiful day in Germany.
Yes, the weather is perfect for exploring. Have you been to Germany before? No, this is my first time. I am very excited. You are in for a treat. Germany has a lot to offer. Tell me more. What should I see? You should definitely visit the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin. I hear it's iconic. What else? Berlin Wall, Reichstag Building and Museum Island. This looks like a day full of sightseeing. It is, but it's worth it. What about food? Are there any local dishes I should try? You should eat schnitzel and sauerkraut. I love trying new foods. What else? Don't forget the bagels, bratwurst and beer. I won't. What's it like outside of Berlin? Munich is a must-visit place. Oktoberfest if possible. I've always wanted to experience Oktoberfest. It's an explosion. Dancing, music and lots of beer. I'll make sure to keep up with my own pace. Good idea. How long will you stay in Germany? I have two weeks to explore. Perfect. Then you can see a lot. Where is your favorite place in Germany? It's hard but I love Bavaria and the Black Forest. The Black Forest sounds mysterious. A beautiful forest with cuckoo clocks and cakes. Cuckoo clocks? I would love to see these. They are unique. You can find them in gift shops. I'll keep an eye out for one. What about you? What brought you to Germany? I went on a solo adventure exploring Europe. This is very brave. Are there any other countries on your list? My travel itinerary includes France, Italy and Spain. Looks great. I hope you have a wonderful trip. Thank you. I'm excited to absorb the whole culture. If you need any tips or help, don't hesitate to ask. You're very kind, Michael. I can agree with you on this. Definitely. Have a good time in Germany, Mary. Thanks, Michael. It was great chatting with you. Safe travels, Mary. Have a great trip. New conversation. Good morning, Mary. How was your weekend? Good morning, Michael. It was great. Thanks. I went for a walk in the Lake District. All right, and you? That sounds good. I had a relaxing weekend at home. So about our project. Okay, let's discuss this. Have you had a chance to review the budget proposal? Yes, I did. I think it's a little high. Can we try to cut some costs? I had predicted this. I've already spoken to the finance team and they are working on it. Good to hear. What is the timeline for this project? We aim to start in two weeks and finish in three months. Okay, this seems doable. By the way, how's your new car doing? It works fine, thanks for asking. I actually had to take it to the repair shop last week. Really? What was wrong? Just some minor issues like brakes and rattling noise. They fixed it quickly. I also need to have my car serviced. Can you recommend a good mechanic? Of course I can. I go to a trusted store near my house. I will send you contact information. Thanks Mary. This will be really helpful. No problem. I'm happy to help. By the way, did you watch the last football game? Unfortunately I missed it. Who won? Our team won the match 2-0. It was an exciting game. This is great news. I'll have to watch the highlights later. Definitely. Anyway, back to our project. Okay, let's continue discussing the timeline and assign tasks to the team. Acceptance. I will draft an email with the updated budget proposal for your review. Perfect, Mary. 
Thank you for your hard work on this project. You're welcome, Michael. Teamwork makes dreams come true. Really, Mary. We make a great team.